So the end of this world, the world that uh, we're all a part of at the moment and um, which is the structure of which is dictated by capitalism and consumerism. Um, it's either that, the end of that world and the beginning of a new world or the end of the whole world and everything that's in it. I'm part of um, a group called Plain Stupid, uh, and we've been um, we've been targeting the aviation industry in general. But uh, probably the most high-profile thing that we've done is breaking in to an airport, Nottingham East Midlands Airport. We occupy the taxiway, which is the area where the airplanes turn around. <laughs> there's been uh, there's been campaigns against airport expansion in the UK for decades now. I mean, local resident campaigns. Um, and uh, they've been pursuing all of the ordinary democratic means of protest and consultation. And uh, they're consistently, they've just consistently been lied to, those residence groups, um, about there not going to be any more expansion. For instance, Heathrow is a really good example. Um, every time Heathrow has expanded, the local resident opposition groups have promised that that will be the end of it and there'll be no more expansion. And then within months, in some cases, there's plans on the table for a new set of expansion. We can't reconcile the airport expansion plans with our CO2 reduction plans. These these two things are simply they're mutually incompatible. Direct action is is especially effective at tackling things like large-scale large, large scale construction projects because it can add so much to the cost of them. Airports aren't actually being built at the moment. The decisions about whether or not to build more airports are being taken now. And uh, the idea behind our direct action campaign at the moment is really to frighten the people that are making those decisions into reconsidering um, and to think that maybe their plans may not end up being economically viable. Direct action is something which really anybody can do. Anybody who's prepared to put their neck on the line. You can talk and talk and talk, but talk is cheap. You know, if everybody, if everybody got up and took direct action tomorrow um, to address the causes of climate change, then uh, we really would be in with a chance. And I think that short of an alien invasion, um, I don't think, you know, you couldn't ask for a better opportunity to bring everybody together, to work together like that. And uh, we don't need an alien invasion because, because climate change is happening already. And um, we're staring down the barrel of that right now. Uh, so, fingers crossed, maybe we will all come together and, um, and actually turn this situation around. Uh, yeah, fingers crossed. You know, I spent a lot of time in the woods and um, those trees won't be able to grow here anymore uh, if, if the worst predictions come to pass. Um, but since, since taking action, rather than just talking about it, uh, since actually doing something concrete, uh, I'm finding it much easier to take pleasure in um, in those things again, and uh, and not just be freaked out imagining when they're gone. In my just for myself, in my heart, I feel so much better. I feel so much better now.